the power of the dark side, 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 Last time, we found out the doctor who wanted my eyes is still alive. This time, let's open this door. You want to operate? It appears power must be supplied to operate it. Here too, huh? Looks like I could open a gate with it. It won't operate. Uh... There's an electrical cord, uh, but it's uh, been served. If I could somehow uh, supply power. Bandage. Knife. The knife made of metal. Electricity should pass through it. Here goes nothing. No power is supplied. So I'm not using the knife for a weapon, but as a tool for puzzles. Okay, pull the lever. Alright, now it should work. I gotta hurry and remove the knife from the electricity cord. The knife. There we go. The handle is somewhat melted. The blade is still fine. I wonder if it's okay to keep using it like this. Amira burns the wall. Hmm. What to do? There doesn't seem to be anything else here. This mirror. Can I break it with the knife? Sure. I did it. It kinda looks like a knife is uh, stabbing a knife. Knifeception. The mirror is rigged, but it looks like sex knife could uh, penetrate it. Alright. Down it goes. Oh, the knife. The meal broke, but the knife blade got stripped to the in the process. That's not good. Sorry, Zack. Looks like I can pass through the mirror. Let's do it. The sound of organ. I can hear it come from uh, further back of her. Proceed into door. Gotta keep going. This is a church. Oh no, not the smell again. Uh, what's with this sweet scent? Do you not think uh, that it is God's will to determine which shall come to pass? Should the will of God differ from your own, what then will you do? There's no God in this world. No. No, no, please. Stop it, please. I want Zack to kill me. I don't want him to die. But if God doesn't acknowledge me, or if he doesn't exist then, what am I supposed to do? Nope. No Now's the time. Now's not the time to think of such things. At any rate, I gotta hurry. I get medicine. Gotta get the medicine. The question is, is the doctor nearby? Oh, I'm back here. Hey, man. Why do you return alone, Rachel Gardner? And what became of Zack? Did you leave him behind? No, Zack can't move, so I just came uh, looking so 
treating wounds. I know that Dr. Danny came to this floor and has medicine, that's why. Oh, Danny, is it? A man is on a rampage of middleless self indulence. Indulence? I truly wonder when his downward spiral began. Ah, come to think of it. Danny is the one who brought tea here. Speechless, are you? Never mind that. Is there uh, no medicine here? Where did Danny go with the medicine? It appears Danny is not himself. He briefly revealed himself to me though. His current whereabouts only God knows. Although he had let his uh, selfishness get the best of him. I took several visual of medicine from him. Then you know where I can find some? Indeed. Please let me have it. Zack is in danger. I don't want him to die. Do you really think I it can be obtained so easily, Rachel Gardner? I have a knife. You would point that chipped knife of sex at me with trembling hands? How did you know this was sex and knife? Oh, I know. It was I who brought him here. Though look at him. His body is a battered, a tattered body mass. And thou hast deceived him, foul demon. Which? No. This is... More of the pink stuff. Okay. What's gonna happen now? Rachel, what hast thou done to them? Then he was a smart and sensible man. Which is exactly why he knew this place like the back of his hand. And reformed uh, from self indulgence uh, conduct. And what about Isaac? He's quite simple. He repraises it quite pure. And now he's treated horribly. Greatly suffering uh, to grant your wish to die by his hand. Wouldn't you agree uh, this is transpired since you encountered? I haven't done anything. You have an enigma, Rachel. Just who are you? Not willing to answer. Let me remind you that you stand before God. Aha, uh -huh. just as I suspected. You have no true faith in God. No, I believe in following the word of God. Then why is that? Why do you feel that way? This not that you will not answer. This that you cannot answer, correct? Rachel Gardner. Your heart is smeared by this it simply by virtue of the belief that God has chosen you and uh, you are a witch who means to deceive my angels no well then you shall be put to judgment something what is going on what are you doing? God desires the pure. And you are charged with being a witch who has deceived my angels. In any case, you must be cleansed. I'm not a witch. Nay, you are a witch who forged a pact with Isaac, are you not? My promise with Isaac is a sworn oath to God. Ha! Huh. You would even dare to use God as your shield. 
Then let me emphasize uh, what you have not forget. This is not your choice to make, but that's of God's. Now we shall contest the... Let the trial commence. Is anyone uh, present uh, to testify against this person? The sure is right here. Oh. Hello, Alice. I'm your witness. You bring people from the dead. And testify why this wonderful Lucina is such a cruel, heartless woman. Hold it. Don't leave me out. Hey, it's the people that Zack killed. I could testify all day about what makes Rachel so lovely. But knowing how stubborn she is, I'm more in the mood to humiliate her. I'm the one who can testify for who she really is. Ah, Rachel, uh, rest assured as I'm here in your corner. I'm here to defend you, remember? I'm on your side. No, you're broken. Hmm, a testimonial uh, right of sort. Very well, each shall take a turn giving a testimony. Now, who shall go first? Me, me, Reverend, pick me to go first. <laughs> huh? That's not fair, Caddy. I called the uh, first days. No offense, Eddie, but that's uh, just not gonna happen. I'm first in line. Why? Oh, you. You didn't even give a reason. The biggest victim of this woman's villain is moi. Unlike. The creeps, I didn't become a sickly infrared with her from the start. Oh god, why you gotta be so hysterical at all the time? I don't know. That's quite a mouth you have, Caddy. I look forward to your testimony. Make haste! I grow impatient. And the witnesses reached the decision yet? Yes, Reverend, I will be going first. Oh man, you always gotta get your way. Alright, Daddy, let's take your leave for now. Are they just all illusions or something? You may begin your testimony, Catherine Ward. I got this in the bag. Listen well, ladies and gentlemen. This demon may look like an innocent, gentle woman on the outside. But her heart is a black uh, carrot or a bone pied witch. I'm not. Case is point, she lies through her teeth. A calm and collected petrol liar. Hmm. Is there any evidence? in time testimony to prove Rachel's a witch. It's like you wouldn't believe. I was cast down uh, from my position as uh, by her miraculous hand. There is was sitting uh, high and mighty watching her uh, torture unfold. Then Zack uh, proceeded to slash himself because uh, this woman told him something. One could say that Isaac Foster's uh, stature uh, Sassina was also uh, crippled by this meddling woman. The whole display was uh, pathetic, uh, but it made me furious. I ventured down to meet them head on. Then what do you think if this woman does without battling an eyelid? She shots me. 
Och kunde man outfoxed and shot the bio sinner. That's not something that should even happen. That woman's uh, nothing uh, but a wily wolf uh, in sinful sheep's uh, clothing. I mean, how could she cast me down uh, to such a horrid place? Only a demon could do such a thing. Not really. I have no memory of infant outfoxing you or destroying your reputation. You did to destroy it, you demon. And do you have any idea what hurts most of all? She enjoyed shooting me. There's no uh, ifs, uh, ands, uh, or buts about it. This is a witch we're dealing with. I vote for uh, water uh, Torture. <laughs> I want to see you struggle and uh, square. Give me a rush to exterminate, uh, but even surpassed last time. You want to see it that badly? Huh? You truly want that to happen to me? I've heard enough. Rever Reverend, we still haven't sentenced her yet. You're not the sentence, uh, Catherine Ward. Besides, what do you seek from someone uh, who you deem to be a witch? That will be all. Moving on, I call the next witness, uh, start, state uh, your testimony against her. Hey kid, yippee, it's finally my turn. You guys are all uh, so self encountered try and have a little compassion. Right, Rachel? Edward Manson, are you capable of testifying against this person? Yep, Reverend, I sure am. I'll go over the good and the bad about her. Then begin. Uh, Rachel is such a cutie. Her voice is like songbirds, uh, my favorite type of voice. That and she's kinda like me. You're also close in age as well. Plus the way she knows exactly what she wants and uh, goes for it. Which is exactly why I would have met you earlier, Rachel. I uh, knew uh, who you were, but the reason I fell for you was uh, because I knew that you were a lot like me. Rachel, I know uh, what you did. It was you who buried the bird on B6, right? Yes. That's why I was convinced uh, we'd have a sentimentary. Not to mention that you spoke of uh, wanting to die. The perfect wish for me. But Rachel, you got a bit stubborn, didn't you? You didn't listen to anything I had to say. I tried so hard to charm my way into your heart, in so many ways. Everything, everything was for you, Rachel. But it was no use. Even though you, you never accepted my advances, I held out in hopes that you'd eventually say yes. I even came to sweep uh, you off your feet Total darkness too. But after all that, guess what happened to me? I was slashed by sack and left all by so in a grave. 
I like graves and all, but that uh, wasn't the ending I desire at all. But that's uh, where I finally realized the biggest thing that sets us apart. I really wanted Rachel. Everything I did was for her. But Rachel was different. Rachel did everything for herself, and herself only. How mean? You meanie? Her sh- Can you stop jumping so I can read? Her surgery whispers about wanting to be killed were all of her uh, sakes only. How truly self-concerned and selfish. And stubborn. Oh so stubborn. I also uh, have no clue why pick sack over me. This is probably just Rachel's being selfish again. She shows no regards uh, for anyone's uh, happiness. And that got me thinking, isn't all of that something that a witch uh, would do? Right, don't you think so, Rachel? That's why I wrote that. Rachel be sentenced to hang in a spike leaden pit of death. Right down the pit she'll go, and only then will I make her happy. What? Are you angry? So sorry, but it's all your fault. Talk to me. Don't ignore me. Enough. What? But wait, Rachel hasn't answered me about anything yet. You're being misguided by the likes of a witch, Edward Madison. A witch can see right through a heart that embraces and fears her. That will be all. An unyielding uh, witch you are. I'm not a witch. How old the uh, red things? Ah, a new save point. Moving on, I call the next witness. State in the uh, ceremony against her. Hello, mad doctor. Are you ridiculous uh, testimonies over now? Hey, Rachel. You seem at ease, no? Are you relieved I'm here? Daniel Dickens. You are willing to testify? Yes, of course, Reverend. I mean, somebody's uh, gotta do a decent job on testifying for Rachel. I must be the one uh, to sing Rachel's uh, praises. Hey, Rachel. You know I'd never misunderstand you, right? Then begin. To be truthful, it's ridiculous to testify how about something so plain as the light of a de of day. That's how much everyone misunderstands Rachel. It all started in the therapy room where I first met her. At the time, I was looking for the perfect pair of peepers, living peepers forever frozen in death. Naturally, even deaf peepers would do, but they get all cloudy. But it was not meant to be. After all, an average uh, Joe's peepers uh, change immediately, depending on their emotional state. Despair to hope, disappointment uh, to malice. Well, it comes with my profession. At the time, I was in charge of counseling her. Looking back on it now, made me so happy. Now have I seen such magnificent, just fascinating people. Scoop out my eyes now! 
Such blue murky and their tranquil legs among darkness. Enough to steal my heart. Then during one of my sessions with her, the most obvious thing occur occurred uh, to me. Her peepers were the very ones I... Can you stop jumping? So, alive and uh, forever frozen in death. I mean, there's no arguing that her heart is just... Just odd. A pitiful, helpless soul. Daniel Dickens. Is what I say not true? Daniel? There's no way her soul could ever be saved. Danny? I mean, it's because... It's because her soul... Stop it. Hmm? Her soul can't be saved. I mean... Because her soul consumes others. Without mercy. Or remo. A soul that buries and steals anything it can. Hmm? What's wrong, Rachel? Oh, what lovely peepers you have. May I look at them? No. Oh, and when uh, we were reunited on B5, she was acting a bit strange, even uh, no she, she seems of true. Look, now you're almost back to your old self. Everything will be alright as long as I'm here with you, don't we get through this together? Daniel Dickens? Sorry. Is that your testimony? I could go into uh, more detail about what makes her so wonderful, if you'd like. No need for that. I think I've heard more than enough. Not to mention, your her testimony was uh, rather condemning. Witnesses you may uh, now leave. It'll be all right, Rachel. You heard me, right? I said they're really... Sh you shouldn't have its uh, soul stolen. That have to be the real doctor and he just left. Rachel Gardner. Your sentence that has been uh, determined. You two heard the uh, claims by each of them. Danny was especially telling. He's the most in tune with your background. It was certainly Danny uh, who watched over you the longest. And it was Danny who bore witness uh, to the truth and never refused you. He's no doubt infatuated with sorceress. None of that is my fault. Dr. Dan is just being selfish. Have you ever resident read uh, that you are uh, the selfish one, Rachel Gardner? Eddie said so in his testimony about how you Neglect everything besides your own ambition. And then there's uh, Katty. What an unfortunate soul. On top of tricking her to go as far as to entrance her in your spell, to see a woman of pride like her reduced to an empty shell of her formal self. How applying. You are a witch. No. Am I wrong? Yes. Can I say come and save me now? You are unable to even refute a single claim made against T. Well, witch. 
Let thee be cleansed. Now the witch shall be burnt at the stake. Um, I'm not a witch. Who would believe words Billy fall from the mouth of a witch? No. Even after hearing the testaments, uh, rem you remain uh, steadfast in your claim. You murdered their heart. Yes, you murdered their angelic hearts. You played them like you violent and left them to for dead. What a barbaric beast. They were trying the same to me. And now you plan to pull the same stunt even with Isaac Foster. Am I right? Yes, another sacrifice for your selfish ambition. I promise to get him out of his place. Stop it, you're wrong. Now. If you don't understand, I'm doing this for Isaac. It's hot, so hot. Admit that you are a witch. Reveal thyself to us. And let the sacred flames satisfy thyself to God. I'm not a witch. Besides, nothing like that is written in the Bible. But of course, Rachel Gardner. That's because your so-called God doesn't exist. But you've been using the name of God this whole time. Yes, because I am referring to my God. So we have different gods, what? I am a servant of God. You might call me the god of this place. Do you mean that you're God? Why yes, here I am the closest being go to God. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I won't believe you. You're no God. A faithful heart, magnificent of God's existence, my poor dear Rachel. You never heard that from the start. No, please. Can't be. Simply can't be. God doesn't exist. How? That just can't be. I won't accept it. I can't accept it. The preacher insisted uh, that he's God. But that can't be. He's wrong. I don't wish to be killed by that God. But my God doesn't exist. Zack. Zack. But I want Zack. To kill me. So cold. So hot. Yet something cold. Is in my hand. This. What's this? Ah. That was it again. Something. Something precious to me. Something I broke and ruined. Yet protected me this whole time. Wait. I'll try to remember. A knife? Ah! Sex knife! This is all an illusion. A chipped knife is thrust into the floor. It's cold. It hurts. It's chipped. 
Yes, cut so well. Ah. Well now, my god, is here after all. Ugh. How have you awoken? The strange thing I have seen on this floor were all illusions. It's what you have shown uh, to my heart. My god has opened my eyes. Then I wasn't able to purge the witch within thee. I'm not a witch. I've not made any convents. There was an oath. It was an oath from my god. I see. The witch in you has chosen to perceive uh, the, that way. Even if you are mistaken, even if uh, what you say is uh, fractional of lies, you do not care, it seems. None of that matters. Hurry and give me that medicine. Oh pitiful witch, who does not love anything but thyself, follow me. Why do you think I need a medicine? To protect someone else. This further is in the back. After you. Why? Well, sex asleep, and I don't know what you'll do. I see. This is the medicine on the hitter shelf. The shelf is uh, lined with drugs uh, such as solution, hermetic against enthermetics, acquired medicine. This should definitely make him better. I'll go back to Sack. Thank you. I'm going back to Sack. Wait. You do not intend to kill me? Why should I? Or why would I? You know believe in a new god, does thou not? The existence of multiple gods will cause nothing but trouble. Besides, you are not one to be very merciful. Do you stand in my way? If not, then there's no need for me to do so. I mean... I... Have no use for you. I see. Then I shall offer you one last piece of advice. The being known as God despises liars and the impure. That is, if you so-called God should actually exist. Rachel Gardner, it will all catch up uh, with you soon. I got the medicine, this time I go back to sack. It's not playing anymore. The pipe organ the picture is solid in red. And pressing the key makes no sound. Okay, let's go and help Zack. Zack! There's a door here. I had a feeling it was an illusion. Zack! I got a medicine! Good, he's just asleep. The last I can do is apply the medicine first. I guess this is the kind applied extreme Extranale. His wounds are serious, but the bleeding mostly stopped. And I just apply it then bandage him. The burn scars were originally there. Huh? Zack, are you awake? What the hell are you doing? I bought some medicine, so I was applying it to you. 
So you made it back alright? Yep. Yep. You all beat up. Was Danny there? How do you get the medicine? Dr. Danny wasn't there. But I got the medicine from the priest on this floor. Oh, bad guy. Ah, hold still. My wounds uh, will probably open back up like this. I'll stitch you up. I'm not half bad at sewing. Back off. I'll do it myself. Are you, are you good at sewing uh, too, Zach? I knew it. I'll take care of it. And I... And I want to stitch up your stomach. Fine. Whatever. Don't uh, bitch to me if I... It get gross. Wait here. I'll cut the thread. Your hands are all beat up. Yeah, but it's alright. It doesn't hurt. Man, you're some piece of work. Look at you all calm. Touching my fucked up stomach. Kudos. For getting the medicine and coming back alive in a weak state, uh, but still. You don't gotta do this too. Hey Ray, why are you doing uh, all this for me? We made a promise, and aren't we friends? Hey, can I use your knife to cut the thread? This knife cuts like a dream. Hey, quit uh, playing dumb and answer me. Answer me. After all, Zack, you're my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that. Um, well, what kind of shit are you talking about? Hey, my knife. Ah, it's a bit chipped. I'm really sorry about that. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? But I guess it's okay. Still, this knife is razor sharp and really helped me out. I'm sorry, I really appreciate it though. It's about time I stitch up those wounds of yours. Hold still for a second, Zack. Ow! Hey, stop it! Shit! That hurt, you dumb fuck. Does it hurt? Hell yes it does. I figured you wouldn't feel a thing. Man, you're as dumb as they come. I'm not some pain violent <laughs> mess of shit. For fuck's sake. Your god commands uh, to do a good job. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> now Zack is a god now. Hey Zack. What is it now? Do these uh, burns uh, not hurt? Huh? Nah, not really. Not anymore. They don't. Oh. Okay, I'll get back to stitching then. When you're done, let's head out right away. Okay. Oh, and do something about your own wounds. What? Not only your hands, but your legs uh, could use some attention too. If you can't run or something, when we got to move fast, then we're fucked. Oh, he cares about me. I'll borrow some of your bandage. If you have any need to spare. What for works? What works? Okay. That's the plan. Still haven't found the elevator that take us up to the next floor. Plus we gotta pass through the area where the snakes are to get back to the elevator that takes us down. I suppose we haven't Checked out the back of the room where sex medicine was. Ok, 
Okay, let's get going then. What a huge goddamn search. Hey, you know that the uh, pre speech uh, you talked about? Where is it? I don't know. You don't know? I'm surprised you gave you the medi that medicine. It wasn't easy. Didn't think so. But that man, I think he may have sort soft spot for you, Zack. Breath. Please spare me for the throw up. Shut it! Then <laughs> quit saying gross things. He's playing again. Let's go back here. And hey, it's a switch. The level. Pull the lever. This should work. So next is B1, eh? Alright, let's move. Ah, wait. Hey, Zach. Mind if I ask you something? Can you ask me something? Just spit it out already. Okay. What's the story with your burns? What would you gain from knowing that? Nothing in particular. I was just curious about you as you all. If you're expecting a gripping a tail, then look elsewhere. Nah, I'm not expecting some sort of epic story or anything. Yeah. When I was a kid, some guy at my house uh, set me on fire. A man set you on fire? That sounds dangerous. Well, the whole thing's kind of vague in my mind. He was uh, probably a man who came to see the woman that gave uh, birth to me. All I can really remember about the man is biting him and uh, taking a chunk of his flesh. That's all it. Great story. That asshole was bent on ending my life. But luckily, I was a silent uh, little bastard. Maybe he sh shit his pants. In the end, that woman wrapped me in cloth. Then she threw money at some uh, shitty home and left me there. I see. That's pretty much it. You happy now? Yeah. What the fuck? You liked it? No, not really. Huh? But I did learn about your burns, so I'm happy. I don't know why. I just wanted to know about you, Zack. So I'm glad I asked. Are you shitting me? Nope. Really? Yeah. Then uh, I'm glad you know. Yeah. Ah, uh, one more thing. You're not done yet. Do you still want to escape his place? Huh? What the hell do you think? You think I'd be risking my life uh, like this if I didn't? Well, we are killing everyone else here, eh? so you can take the place for yourself. Doesn't matter. I see. Never mind then. What a screwy bitch. I'm gonna put this out there for you. There's a single word coming out of my mouth a lie. I see. A lie. So 
sec, I, uh, to be honest, I... What? Come on, spit it out! I... Never mind. Whoa! What the hell is that? I'm sorry, I knew uh, what I wanted to say, but I sort of slipped my mind. Get yourself together. There's still one floor to go. Drop the crack pipe. <laughs> ah, here we are. Alright, just a little further and we're out of here. Let's go. Okay. I can't. I just can't tell him. I mean, Sek absolutely abhors liars and God despises impure. If he would ever find out that I've been hiding my sinful past all the time, he'll hate me for sure. I can no longer tell Sek the truth. What truth? What's this place? The inside of a house? Look at the blood uh, trails. The being known as God despised liars and the impure. Ah, uh, oh no. It was here. I remember now. This is where I was. Wait, Zach, wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Don't look in that room! What? 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 This is getting really interesting! Mm. Mm. It's getting so interesting. What is it? Uh, what uh, uh, Rachel don't want us to see? I need to know. Mm. I'm probably gonna continue the story soon. And they are back from the that in my mind <laughs> well if you like the video please leave a like subscribe follow my channel if you're not then don't easy as that I'm just playing for fun entertainment and uh, that kind of stuff to be continue it's only one episode left for episode 4 we are probably gonna meet the doctor again most likely, because he's still alive, but ice, I maniac. So yeah. So have a good day, or if it's night time, good night and all that stuff. So yeah, bye bye.